If y'all ever wonder why I talk about atheism, this video is why. Senator Rob Standridge in Oklahoma, I've got a bone to pick with you, sir. Senate Bill 1470, otherwise known as the Students' Religious Belief Protection Act. Okay. And let me just clarify that as Bill 1470, not the year 1470, because it feels like it should be. It basically allows parents to sue teachers if the teachers teach something or don't teach something that offends the students' deeply held religious beliefs. And even if you don't live in Oklahoma, don't get too excited. Do you remember that video I made on the Texas abortion ban where people could literally sue someone if they even saw someone helping someone obtain an abortion? Texas just passed a law that made it illegal for someone to get an abortion after six weeks. But this law in Texas not only bans it at six weeks, it empowers everyday citizens to legally sue someone who even helps a woman obtain abortion, their family, their friends, the person that drives them to the clinic, their Lyft driver, any healthcare workers that actually assist in having this actually go through. I mean, anybody like, so Karen in the SUV next to you driving who might see that someone's taking you to get an abortion, not only can they sue you, they can sue your friend who's driving, your mom, whoever, like it's insane. Yeah, shout out to Texas for this sweet idea that's just rippling throughout the United States. And if you don't live in Texas or you don't live in Oklahoma and feel like, oh, it doesn't apply to you, we are in the United States. It is the year 2022. This shit is still happening and still very relevant. So that's why I make videos on this and I think more people should honestly be talking about it. And just like that, she has different hair. And I wanna say more people should also be talking about adamandeve.com. That's right, this video is sponsored by Adam and Eve, so make sure you go to adamandeve.com, check them out, and use my name, Jacqueline, J-A-C-L-Y-N, as a code at checkout to get 50% off any one item and free shipping. If you click the link in my description below, you will see me unboxing so many different really cool things that they sent me. It was actually a really fun unboxing, so I hope you check it out. And as always, check out Adam and Eve because videos like this are pretty high intense and stressful and you know what relieves that stress, you know. And you should be stressed because this is something that is very serious in politics and it could be law. But I have seen a lot of people making the argument that, well, nothing like this is actually gonna become law. That may or may not be true, but it's made it far enough to be a real problem and do I need to remind you about Texas? This is clearly a theme that keeps happening, this whole, well, I'm religious and conservative and triggered, and therefore I'm going to sue you. I always thought that like liberal was the word that would come before snowflake. That's what everybody always bitched about, right? These liberal snowflakes out there getting offended over everything. <laughs> Looks like some people need mirrors. But I mean, do we really need to even point that out? Religious people in particular have been crying wolf for a long time about their persecution. Let's not forget. The great Starbucks red cup controversy. It wasn't Christmassy enough. You remember that? There have been triggered conservative religious snowflakes out there for a long time. This is just moving it one step further into the insanity. So let's get into the nitty gritty. All right, Oklahoma City. A Republican Oklahoma lawmaker has proposed legislation that would allow teachers to be sued if they promote contradicting religious beliefs held by a student. Now it's not only that, it's if they exhibit something that offends a student's religious beliefs. So like, let's say you're gay. A better example, honestly, would be trans because you can be gay. It might not be something that you exhibit on school property or during school events or whatever, but if you are trans, I mean, under this, you'd get sued. Senate Bill 1470 was proposed by Senator Rob Standridge and is dubbed the Students' Religious Belief Protection Act. Like, religious beliefs are protected. We have religious freedom in the United States already. This is a whole different thing. This is actually seeking the opposite. And let me remind you, it is through act or omission. You can be offended and sue over what teachers don't say. Under the proposed act, and here's where it gets good, teachers can be sued for $10,000 minimum per incident, per student. Just out of curiosity, I Googled how much teachers make in Oklahoma. The average public school teacher salary in Oklahoma is $57,000 a year. Average classroom size, let's just ballpark it around 20. Per incident, let's say you only mess up one time. You only do one thing that is offensive. Let's say you don't pray enough, or I don't know what it is. You do something that triggers uh, five students. Well, there goes almost all of your earnings. And just that one, just that one, each one of them can do it. See how stupid this is getting? It's not like teachers are loaded. And if I do recall correctly, there is a teacher shortage. So this is not gonna help that problem at all. And honestly, it's disrespectful to your core as a teacher, as someone who puts in that much work to just be like put underneath a microscope to see who you might offend. And who are you, like, is this only for 
Christian students? And even within Christianity, there's so much diversity. Like, I went to Catholic school. I grew up and went to Catholic school. And by the way, why can't people just send their kids to religious schools? Why are we trying to turn public schools into churches? Seriously. But like, I went to Catholic school. I was raised Catholic. And Catholicism is its own sect of Christianity. And they do value things differently than evangelicals, for example. So what if you're evangelizing too much or too little or what? It's just, you don't go to confession. You think you only need Jesus to be saved, but Catholics say, no, you gotta go to confession and it does require good works. Well, what's the teacher gonna say? Because someone's gonna be offended and you're losing half your salary. What if someone's a Muslim and their teacher's not wearing a hijab? Does that count? And here's just the cherry on top of all of this. Let's say a teacher got sued and someone like myself decided to create a fundraiser to help this teacher because I think it's complete bullshit, which it would be. No, nope, no, nope, they can't use it. It must come out of the teacher's personal account. They shall not receive any assistance from individuals or groups. And if they do, they will be fired. And not only will they be fired, they will not be allowed to be rehired by any school for a minimum of five years. What is this world we are living in? I mean, obviously you can't teach about evolution. Like, no, hard stop. Sex ed? Unlikely. And I mean, if it's a Catholic thing and they're serving wine at church and they're not teaching about Dionysus, I swear to God that I don't believe it. I am suing. No, 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 no. That's ridiculous. It only works for Christians because, you know, they're so persecuted. Seems like they're trying to do a lot of persecuting. Just saying. I mean, I'm personally an atheist. I don't want my kid to be raised religious. I don't want to send him to a public school and then have someone try to teach him some Jesus. I don't want any of that. I mean, hey, in Oklahoma, I should be able to sue if that happens, right? Ah, oh, shit, I forgot it's only, it's only for Christians. You can't find teachers for teaching facts. Facts don't care about your feelings, right, Ben? Where is Ben Shapiro? He should be outraged. Forget about the disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings. Oh, and Mr. Rob Standridge, he actually had four bills, and they're all pretty terrible. One of them, Senate Bill 1135, is the Wellness Scholarship Act which says if a school has a mask mandate, I'm gonna let you guess where I'm going with this. Bet you guessed wrong. If a school has a mask mandate, then the parents should get a scholarship so that they can then send their child to a private school, which doesn't say anything about whether or not those schools might have a mask mandate, but they should get money nonetheless. Senate Bill 1142 prohibits certain schools and their school libraries from having books there that they don't like. I'm gonna let you take a guess on what types of books they might not like. Oh, did, did you say LGBTQ? Because if you did, you're right. He specifically mentioned a few uh, books that he didn't particularly endorsed. Standridge expressed concern over some of the books currently available in public schools, including Trans Teen Survival Guide. Oh, of course, that's gotta be super triggering to him. God, I would hate for them to feel like okay or included in anything or like taught how to survive. And also, now this one is super enraging. A quick and easy guide to queer and trans identities. <laughs> A quick and easy guide to they, them pronouns and the art of drag. They, them pronouns, guys. I don't want my children learning pronouns. I just think that those are overly sexualized. I agree, Rob. Every time I hear someone use the word they or them as a pronoun, I get turned on and I never knew why until right now. I think parents and grandparents, guardians, should have a say on whether their kids are exposed to those books. If they want them, they can take their children to their local library. Wait. Now I'm angry. Rob, in this quote, now tell me if I'm wrong, did you or did you not use the word they and them? If they want them, they can take their children to the local library. I am appalled. I feel like that quote is over-sexualized and you know what? God damn it, I'm gonna sue you. Serious question here, just really wanna know what in the hell happened to the separation between church and state? Like, I, I remember. I remember when that used to be like a thing. It's just crazy to me. And on this topic of books, bit of a sidetrack, um, there was a local book burning in my town where I live. This pastor, and I've mentioned him before. We got first and last names of six witches that are in our church. And you know what's strange? Three of you are in this room right now. 
You better look in my eyeballs. We ain't afraid of you, you stinking witch. Super anti-COVID, anti-vax, anti-mask. Actually, they will throw you out of their congregation if you dare to wear a mask. Uh, had a local book burning and they wanted to burn like Harry Potter books, Ouija boards, tarot cards, anything that is like satanic. Spell books, everything you can imagine. And uh, th this thing is full. So we got clothes, a lot of things. So if you need to get rid of it, as much as you can get, just start throwing it in there. 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 Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Back to hell I was tempted to go. This is literally around the corner from where I live, which is embarrassing to admit. But I didn't because I have a five month old baby and I'm afraid of being around all of these people that are anti-vax, anti-mask. It just didn't feel safe to me. You devil worshiping Satanist witch, we cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. So I, I didn't, but I was super tempted. When all this stuff passes, trust. Trust, I will troll the shit out of these people. But I mean, that's just taking it one step further. So, you, you know, you ban the books in the school libraries, but then you collect all the ones you don't like, like, you know, ones with they, them pronouns, and then you throw them into a pit of fire. And I will close with the thing that I opened with. And people ask me why I feel the need to make videos on atheism even still today. This is why, it's not all that irrelevant. People are still causing issues because of religion. Actually, quite a few issues because of religion. I kind of hoped a long time ago that I would be out of a job and talking about atheism on my YouTube channel, but I, I don't think that's gonna happen for a long time. But I can hope, one can hope, one can pray. I mean, I won't, but feel free. Be an interesting thing to pray for. I, Jesus, I pray for more atheism, amen. Now that's one hell of a prayer. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Just wanted to do this rant and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. And your little dog too, you're out, witch.